welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we are going to create this simple exercise in solidworks with the help of sheet metal tool here we will learn multiple things like base flange command edge flange then hem tool and fold unfold tool also we will learn and uh, some forming tools also we will learn how to uh, create a forming tools here see here and this hemming also so let's see how to make this one this is very interesting for the sheet metal learner beginners and this is the drawing what we have so we will go according to this drawing now let me open file new and choose here part okay now we are in the solidworks interface I'll keep background plain white now if you don't have sheet metal here right click and choose your sheet metal now let's see this is the drawing what we are going to create this is simple exercise for sheet metal here we will learn multiple things first we will create a base so base is 60 by 80 millimeter and thickness not shown so we will keep one millimeter let's see how top plane a sketch choose here center rectangle draw a rectangle a smart dimension and this length 80 millimeter and the horizontal length 60 millimeter go to sheet metal and choose fl base flange see thickness we will keep 1.5 it's going downward that's fine k factor 0.5 it is a standard okay we will uncheck the real view now we need to expand this wall 40 millimeter from above the thickness and corner radius 4 millimeter and the same here condition is 40 millimeter from outside see this thickness from outside uh, of the surface and this one outside of in actually inside from the thickness including thickness so let's see this one choose base flange and here select this face and expand upward direction move your cursor wherever you move it will go upward uh, whatever direction you like to move it will go accordingly now here keep blind and this distance we need 40 millimeter but this distance actually from we need from here so what we will choose we will choose inner virtual char so that it will comes here and here let's see thickness also comes outside see this 80 millimeter excluded this wall thickness so this one we will keep material outside and virtual sharp okay if you like to check thickness or distance simply go to evaluate or right click and choose evaluate measure now let me choose this edge and this surface see this green line shows 40 millimeter this is your exact distance edge flange move this direction now this time what we will see this material thickness going upward first we will define the length 40 millimeter and this length from the outside outer virtual sharp see so it will calculate from this outside and material here base flange inside see it goes downward if we choose outside it will go upward inside that's it okay if you like to choose choose this outside and this face see this green line shows normal distance 40 millimeter okay that's fine now it's time to add hamming now this hamming tool we need to add this is from the outside of the thickness so 10 millimeter means 10 uh, 5 millimeter radius means it comes 10 millimeter and here distance 10 so how we will calculate this one radius include this one so this distance uh, while we calculating uh, it becomes 15 millimeter the same here also now let me choose hamming and here we need to choose age so i'll choose this bottom edge now you will see here we will keep material outside if we keep inside see is going inside but according to our drawing we need outside now we need open now here also actually i, uh, I already practiced this one so it's 
10 5 mm radius plus this outer edge 10 mm and the inside diameter also 10 mm because radius 5 mm okay now the same thing we will apply in second end hem this end same thing material out bend outside open 15 and 10 now choose this face sketch normal now here we need to make cutout now the cutout drawing here we will make this cutout so distance 40 millimeter from edge this uh, before bend edge and 25 millimeter now better to save our drawing so that okay let's uh, complete this one first define center line here to here then choose center rectangle and draw a rectangle don't take center point and define distance from here to here 40 millimeter because this is bending edge and the thickness 25 millimeter now let me choose this outer edge just select and select this line and create relation here you will see collinear see drawing is fully defined simply choose go to sheet metal and select extruded cut just thickness uncheck this link and thickness going upward direction okay that's it let's make this hole and here at the center there is cut out this cut out size actually 10 by 10 you will see here 10 by 10 at the center and this is 28 millimeter from outer wall 26 millimeter from outer wall and uh, 12 millimeter 30 15 okay choose this face sketch normal center line draw here line escape let's draw here two circles a smart dimension and define the center distance 30 millimeter then one circles distance from outer is 15 millimeter so that it will comes in center now distance from here to this outer surface 26 millimeter one circle diameter 12 millimeter choose both the circles and make relation equal now see drawing is fully defined now go to sheet metal and choose extruded cut and here just select because there is chances to cut this face so just select link to thickness so that it will cut only up to thickness okay now see choose this face sketch normal first draw a center line from one end to another end and here choose corner rectangle define this 10 millimeter 10 millimeter and it should be in center position so draw a construction line from this center point to this this line center point connect it and choose line horizontal so that it will comes in center line a center position mirror choose this rectangle mirror about this vertical line you will see here preview that's it sheet metal and select extruded thickness and here click link to thickness okay oh, that's fine even though if you like to add real view you can simply directly choose real view metal nickel polished nickel see this looks very vibrant color okay now what else balance now here one cut out now this cut out see this 10 thickness cut out and uh, this from this bending edge to here 28 millimeters we will keep this in center 
okay now you will see how to use unfold command so click unfold here we need to make fix we will fix this surface and choose bend to unfold so i'll select this bend this radius okay now see it is flattened choose this face sketch normal center line and here draw center you will find here center point see exit again choose center rectangle and you will find here center point that's it now define this thickness 10 millimeter and the distance from here to this point 28 millimeter isometric view okay it's not very visible sheet metal and choose extruded cut and here keep link to thickness okay now see it is trimmed now it's time to fold so choose fold command now see face the fixed surface selected now bend to fold so we need to choose bend we are going to create this bend line we selected okay now see it is bent see now the last thing here we need to add we need to add this embossing tool we don't have perfect size of this embossing tool let's see what kind of tools available in like uh, geometry uh, in our uh, design library it is 12 millimeter from this end now choose this surface take the normal view go to design library forming tools emboss uh, we will choose this counter sink emboss just drag push here choose position distance from here to this outer edge 12 millimeter center line connect here to this choose this line make relation horizontal there are some small things now this is fully defined choose isometric view you will see here preview see how is going downward so click ok that's it see how the embossing tool is created this is we took from our library even you can define we have some tutorial how to design any embossing tool in solidworks you will see in our uh, channel see this is how we created a simple beautiful design in solidworks with the help of sheet metal tool if you go to sheet metal and choose flatten now see it is ready for the CNC machining you can just simply make this 2d drawing and uh, put for the programming and you can insert this in CNC terrace machine and machine will cut it according to this drawing now if you like to save this body right click here and export to DXF drawing see part 1 it is shown you just select exercise keep this distance say DXF file save it will ask you click sheet metal okay now it will it's going to save in 2d form and that 2d drawing we can use for the CNC machining or for programming so that we can cut according to this now it's calculating in background now see simply select save now that save exit from the flat pattern so this is how we created a simple sheet metal exercise in solidworks i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching